entertainmentbuddha.com Hey now everyone, Matt Haywood here from entertainmentbuddha.com and Haywood Pop on Instagram. And why do we care about that? Well, that's where we take pictures of toys like this. And today we're going to review this toy which is a new Egg Attack Star Wars figure from Beast Kingdom's Egg Attack line. In particular, this is the Star Wars Rogue One Shore Trooper, which is EAA-040 if you're keeping score. So as you can see, this guy is very charming. Um, captures the look of the Shore Trooper from Rogue One, albeit in the chibi style, meaning kind of the big head with the, the dispor disproportionately sized body. Um, if you've collected the Egg Attack line, the Shore Trooper features pretty much the same points of articulation that you've seen in other Star Wars Egg Attack figures. Uh, he's got decent mov movement around the neck joint. You, know, you can get some pretty good poses going up and down, side to side. Uh, no complaints there. Arms, same thing. You get a lot of movement in the shoulder joints. They can pop in and out. They can raise up and down. You get some elbow articulation, both forwards bent and backwards bent. Uh, it doesn't bend quite all the way. I can tell you, though, on, on mine, this arm in particular, the joint that goes from the upper arm into the shoulder socket kept popping out. Uh, it's not a huge issue, but it's kind of a pain in the butt, and I had to shove it back in there real tight to get it to stay. But outside of that, articulation is what to expect in an egg attack figure. I believe you get 30 total. So you get a few in the arms, a uh, few in the legs, a few in the torso area, of course, and then again the head, as we saw. Um, so posability is pretty high in this figure, but like I said, it had a loose joint in one of the arms, the left arm in particular. Of course, you got the foot articulation too. So nothing to complain about in terms of posing this new egg attack figure. So now, uh, once I'm done playing around with his bendable legs, we're going to go ahead and check out his accessories, which include some hands and two guns. So we'll go ahead and switch over to that now. You good with that, buddy? Strike a pose if you are. That's my dude. Looking good. So yeah, there. See, posing's pretty easy with these guys. Just got to watch out for those arm joints. So let's check out the weapons now. All right, so as promised, here is the Shore Trooper with his accessories. He comes with a total of three pairs of hands. So he's got the fists, he's got the trigger hand, and he's got the open palm for both sides. Uh, he also ships with two weapons. You have his special Shore Trooper-only blaster right here, which is pretty cool looking, as well as a um, chrome, actual metal version of the standard Stormtrooper blaster, what we'll see in a little bit. So there he is holding his short trooper blaster. Um, getting the gun in there, pretty easy. The hands molded around the weapon. I did have to split the fingers a bit to make sure that they could get into the trigger hole. Uh, but outside of that, he can hold it quite fine. Uh, swapping hands out, I will admit, is a little bit of a chore on this egg attack as, as far as popping the hand off its ball and socket and then getting a new one in there. But if you've used or have collected other egg attack Star Wars, then you know what I mean. And again, there's his fully metal chrome, chromed out version of the standard Stormtrooper blaster and the rest of the hands. So that's it for the Egg Attack Shore Trooper 0040. Uh, I give it two big thumbs up. It looks great, poses great. A few little issues with the hand joints, but overall, I dig it because he looks awesome. Check him out. Thanks for watching. Matt Haywood here for EntertainmentBoo.com, where we make you better geeks and toy collectors. One post at a time.